Okay, everyone, I am back and I am getting ready to make old fashioned mac and cheese. Okay, now what's going to go into this mac and cheese is two cups of elbow macaroni, four tablespoons of butter, two, two um, tablespoons of flour, two cups of milk, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And you, we're gonna garnish it with the black pepper too. So I have to get some more there so we can garnish with. We're gonna have grated onion. I'm gonna grate this onion up right here, okay? And we're going to have four ounces of processed cheese. That's this right here, Velveeta is the one I'm going to use, okay? So we're only gonna use about four ounces of that. And that's 16 ounces, so it's not really that much. And we're gonna have medium sharp cheddar cheese. That's this one right here. And we're gonna have Swiss cheese, okay? We're gonna have four, one cup of uh, shredded cheese and one cup of sharp shredded cheese okay sharp cheese swiss cheese okay so we're, i'm gonna shred everything up right here i'm gonna put this in cubes right here i'm gonna grate up my onion and i'm gonna put this here on and i'm gonna start cooking it you cook your elbow macaroni according to the way it's supposed to be cooked you don't want it to be cooked too soft you want it in between Okay, in between. And I'm gonna put the milk and the flour on so it can go ahead on and start start on doing what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna put my butter in there. So my butter, my milk, and everything is gonna go in. I'm gonna put my butter and my flour together until I get it like pasty. So when I get it pasty, then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to uh, I'm going to add my milk to it, okay? And then I'm gonna let it boil and whisk it on up together. So I'm gonna show you how that's gonna be looking when it's on the stove, okay? So it is starting to look like this now. So now I'm getting ready to add my milk in, okay? Okay, so now I'm getting ready to put in my salt and my black pepper. And I'm going to stir this on up here. Then I'm going to cut, cut it on down on low till my macaroni is ready. Then I'm going to keep stirring it. As I'm doing it, I'm just gonna keep stirring it. And uh, and I'll be back. So now, I have everything here. I have the sharp cheese I grated up. I have the Swiss cheese that I grated up. Okay. And I have me some grated up onion here. This is a fourth of a cup of grated onion that I have right there. And I have me some Velveeta cheese and that's already in here, okay? So I have all this here in here, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna get my sauce, put my sauce on top of this. Okay, and this is the sauce that has cooked. Oh man. So this is the sauce. Okay. So I'm gonna mix all this here all up together right here.
And you can see the black pepper all in it. It has black pepper showing all up in it and everything. So all I'm doing now is just mixing it all up in here. And sometimes if you want to give it like a little kick and things to it, put you some cayenne pepper in there. It give it a little kick. Cayenne pepper give your macaroni and cheese a little kick so it can have a little kick to it. I like that in, in mine, a little cayenne pepper in mine because it always give it a little kick to it, a little spiciness to it. You can put that in there, okay? So this right here is getting all mixed up right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this here and stick it in the oven. And I'm going to bake it in the oven. Because I got it where it's mixed up really good now. So all this here I've got to do now is just bake in the oven. Okay, I want you to take your oven, set your oven to 350, okay? Then after you set your oven to 350, let it bake for 30 minutes, all right? And then it'll be ready. That cheese is good up in there. Yes, it is. It has really, really melted. I want to make sure that I get it really mixed up in here. Okay, so there we go. That's it. That's it. Now this is going to be the bomb. You see that? That is going to be the bomb. Macaroni and cheese. Yes, it is. I don't know if I want to put me no paprika in there, but I said old-fashioned macaroni and cheese. And that's what I'm going to keep it at. Keep it as an old-fashioned macaroni and cheese. Look at that. Look at that. You know when it's baked, it's going to be perfect, right? Okay, then. So, everyone, this is my macaroni and cheese. This is old-fashioned macaroni and cheese, okay? So, let me get some on out of here and try it out oh my goodness got a lot of cheese and stuff in there mm -hmm. yes lord bless me but i have cooked this meal today mm -hmm. mm. you know what you can taste the orange flavor through it. You can taste the onion, the onion in it, I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is wonderful. I love it. I just love it. And the cheese that's all in it. Let me get, let me get these to a holder. So I can hold it up here so y'all can see it. <coughs> Look at that. See that cheese all up in there? Look at that. That came out so good. It got a lot of cheese up in there. You, can you see it? Yeah, a lot of cheese up in there. I mean, this came out excellent. Just lovely. I love this. And things, this is good. Really, really, really good. Have to pat my own self on the back. Mmm. Okay. I want to tell everyone, have a beautiful weekend. I'll be right back to finish up so I can show you how I fixed my meal today. So everyone, this is the meal I fixed for my family them today. You see me do the macaroni and cheese. You see me do the ham. You didn't see me do the glazed sweet potatoes because I fix glazed sweet potatoes all the time and things. And then I did some croissants and 
I did a double pumpkin pie. I did a bean pie. I did a peach cobbler cake. And I'm finished. I am just drained. I'm tired. And it is time to eat and rest. So I want to tell everyone, have a beautiful one. Um, be safe. Be happy. Um, I want everyone to stay positive out here in this world because it's a lot of things going on and we have to stay positive. We have to stay sane for one thing. You know, uh, I want everyone to give someone a big hug. Tell them you love them. Take care of your family because that's all you have out here in this world. Some of them may not have been right, some of them may have been right, but they birth you into this world. And you're the reason why they're here. They may not be perfect. It's okay that they're not perfect, but they're your family members, okay? They're your family, they're your mama, they're your daddy, everything. Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody out here perfect at all, okay? We all have something that, that we're not proud of, that we wish we can go and do it all over again. But we learn from the mistakes we make in life. So, stay positive, okay? Bon appetit, baby.